Hi guys, up in my workroom, got a few projects I want to get on with. I'll just talk you through some of the things that are likely to come up. Uh, first of all, this little styrofoam boat that I made that's powered by a 9 volt battery. I intend to make that one radio controlled. So we'll do that at some time. Over here is the ducted fan boat that I made the other day. That's finished now, I don't need to do any more to that. So I'm thinking of using the hull for a sailboat. I'll take the ducted fan off, stick a mast on it, and put the rudders back on it so that we can actually steer it when it's being blown across the lake by the wind. And then the other thing I regularly get asked is can we convert a cheap um, radio controlled car to a hobby grade car? Now I don't want to do the full job because you might just as well buy a proper hobby grade radio controlled car to begin with. But there are a few things that we might be able to do. First of all, we can convert it to LiPo batteries, which is what I did with this one the other day. Next thing we can do is convert the receiver to a proper hobby grade receiver. But as soon as you do that, you've got a problem that the steering and the forwards and backwards on the original toy is just simply done by um, switching on and off a motor. So the forwards and backwards, you switch the motor on and it goes forwards. You switch it on with the current reversed and it goes backwards. There's no faster or slower, it's just full speed forwards or full speed backwards. And the steering works the same way. That's why I've got this one just here. All you've got is a little electric motor and you send power to it one way and it turns one way and you send power to it the other way and it turns the other way. Now that's not how normal hobby grade radio control works. Hobby grade red radio control is all about using servos and proportional positioning. And you can't just plug a receiver straight into a little motor like that. It just isn't going to work. But what we can do, and I've been thinking about this, is I could use a forwards-backwards ESC, electronic speed controller, connect it straight up to the motor, and I've got my little servo tester here, and we can use it to do the steering. It's still only left or right, because it doesn't matter how fast I make it go left or right, it still goes the full distance. But I should be able to use that to do the steering. And I should be able to do the same thing for the forwards and backwards. So it looks to me like the minimum I need to convert a car like this one to hobby grade radio control is a receiver, which I've got, and two ESCs. One to do the steering at this end, and one to do the forwards and backwards. 
Now I've got a ESC that does forwards and backwards with a brake position in the middle. So I'll use that for the forwards and backwards. And then I'll use this other one that does forwards and backwards with no brake position to do the steering. Now this particular uh, car chassis is one that I repaired the steering on. It goes right all right, but it doesn't do very much in the way of left. So, well, we'll do it anyway because it's a convenient one to work on. But the left steering is a bit limited. I had to wire up the broken steering arm. Still, that's what we'll do. We'll convert this one to hobby grade receiver. But we're not going to change the motors in it. To keep it simple, I've just extended the wires. That's the steering motor there. So I've extended that and put normal uh, RC connector on the end. So that'll plug straight into the ESC. And the same with the drive motor here. Just extended that again with another plug. So I should be able to plug that into my ESCs that are laying down here. Right, we're in the garden. I haven't bothered to put the cover back on the car, just the chassis there. But we've got forwards and backwards all right. lacking a bit of grip on the grass here. <laughs> Stuck in the long grass. Definitely struggling in the long grass. Should have to mow the lawn, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Stuck on the grass again. Still, that proves it works. I'll just do a summary. Summary time. What have we got? At the moment, I've got two LiPo batteries in there because we're controlling two ESCs, but I'm sure I could put a doubler plug so we can just use one LiPo. But we've got ESC there, that one comes from that battery and actually feeds the forwards and backwards motors. Another ESC here with a sticky tape on it. Another ESC there and that one is connected to that LiPo and feeds the steering. And then we've got a normal 2.4 gigahertz hobby grade receiver and 2.4 gigahertz hobby grade transmitter so we got
left and right. And then forwards and backwards. So that's a normal toy radio controlled car but with the upgraded receiver and using ESCs to control the existing motors. Oh, and also we've got LiPo batteries to power it. So that all tucks in there. There was plenty of room in there. I could tuck it in there nicely, put the top back on and you'd have an ordinary radio controlled car. Job done. I guess the final question is is it worth doing? And I would say no. If you're going to spend the money getting yourself a proper transmitter and receiver and then you've got to buy the ESCs and the LiPo batteries it's not going to cost a great deal more to get a proper radio controlled car with proper um, high speed motors on it and proper steering. Uh, I mean this works but if you want to get into proper radio controlled cars I'd buy the proper stuff.